What's up? Okay, hey. The best and worst legendary Bloodhound skins that exist in the game, with some epic and rare quality ones, with my personal taste. We're going to start with the worst ones towards the best ones. My main focus will be the body design and the hand design. Body represents the skin, while the hands are important because Apex is a first person shooter, which means you are looking at the hands 95% of the time. Let's get started. Usually, there are some legendary skins that I don't like for legends, but to be honest, there aren't any skins for Bloodhound that I don't like. So, let's get right into the skins that I have mixed opinions for. And those skins are Imperial Warrior, Royal Guard, and the Recolors, Great Winter, Radiant Stalker, and Wandering Warrior. These five skins have an amazing body design. The main inspiration are Samurais, which is really noticeable, but that, of course, isn't a bad thing. The main attraction is probably the huge samurai hat, which gives the skins identity. Many of these skins are featuring some beautiful color combinations, but the community favorite must be the white great winter skin, which looks so clean. So what isn't great on these skins? The hands. The first person experience on these skins isn't that fantastic. The hands are featuring some old fabric and an uninspiring plate, which means the first person experience isn't that nice to look at. Such a shame because the body design just looks so awesome. The next three skins that we are going to talk about are the Plague Doctor, the Runner Keeper and a recolor called Raven's Shadow. And a similar story continues. The body design is really cool. Raven looking head is the first thing you notice on these skins which immediately connects you to the Blackhound Bird which is always with them. The skins have a similar body design language with the Samurai skins. A lot of cool details spread throughout of the body is also a really nice thing. But the hands are, well, not that great. They are also featuring some old used fabric with a leather plate on top of them. Playing with these skins isn't the best choice for sure. The next two skins are called Protector of the Patch and Wicked Harvest. Okay, let me say this. These skins are just having a phenomenal body design. The pumpkin head is surely one of the best skin designs out there. Some glowing elements are hanging from the witch looking hat, which is the best way to complete this design. Rest of the body is featuring old fabric and some wooden elements. Wicked Harvest has the more exotic colors, while the protector is having some easier ones. But you know the problem. The hands are literally the same ones as the default Bloodhound model, just with some changed colors. Wicked Harvest is having all gold hands, but they are missing details. The protector's hands are just is awful and so close to the default skin. $20 for these skins isn't a great choice for the in-game pleasure. Young Blood and Wise Warrior are next. These skins have a lot of quirks and elements connected to the origin of Bloodhound. A lot of details, different materials and tones which are complementing each other. The Young Blood skin also has a different lobby select animation which a lot of players love. Wise Warrior head is surely the striking detail of the skin, where the Young Blood doesn't have a dominant detail. And you already know what am I going to say next. The Wise Warrior hands are literally default Bloodhound hands with different colors, while the Young Blood hands are just featuring some scratch leather which isn't that cool. That tells us the gameplay of these skins is not something to brag about. Last two skins that I have mixed opinions for are Arctic Hunter and the Centurion. The Centurion is just having a unique design. The tone of gold is just perfect. Combine that with the black leather and red details, the designer of this skin just nailed every bit of the skin's body. But the hands are just uh, meh. They are simple with some little golden elements which don't look that fancy. The Arctic Hunter on the other hand is just having one of the best looking hands in the game. They are made from ice which end up in cracks. The ice is really well detailed and glows in the dark. Playing with this skin is just just so great. But because the skin is a rare quality skin, the body design isn't that awesome. Same 3D design with some changed colors. Those were the mixed quality skins. The skins that follow are just pure perfection. The best of the best. The first skin is an epic quality skin called Master of the Hunt. Even though being an epic skin, the design of this skin is just amazing. There are a lot of cheetah patterns and 
cheetah animations which are just awesome. Different shades of light purple and gold are the primary colors and work wonderfully. The hands, ladies and gentlemen, are a banger. Detailed fabric with little golden plates which are detailed to the maximum, giving you a beautiful time while playing with this skin. Next awesome Bloodhound skin is called the Intimidator which, uh, let's face it, looks just intimidating in a good way. Just a gazillion of details everywhere which are working together like a charm. Every inch of this skin is just phenomenal and stunning. The head must be the main part of this skin. It reminds me on some cool character but I can't remember which one. The hands just deserve every bit of excitement. They are detailed and with elements that work together so well. If you are gaming with this skin, I know you have it equipped all of the time. I saved the best one for last. The Road Warrior Bloodhound is just a masterpiece of a skin. It is having an urban look with a lot of leather and rubber. And believe me when I say this, when I first saw this skin I struggled to find words and I still am. Skull looking face, awesome looking straps, a lot of leather protection with printed words. Like come on, if you don't like this skin there is something crazy going on in your head. And the cherry on the top, the hands. They are made from rubber and have tiny points on the whole surface. Add some stripes and you will never choose another skin over this one while playing with it. Whoever designed this skin is just a mastermind and deserves a race. Bloodhound skins are just amazing. So next time you skin somebody with them, finish your enemy with some stylish skins like no other legend. That's it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know the procedures. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.